president of Brahma Volunteer Ambulance Service. Before I take you on a journey through this pandemic, let me first say the story has a good ending. We survived because we were Bravo strong. Bravo is your local community-based volunteer ambulance service here in Bay Ridge, Fort Hamilton, and Dyker Heights communities. We are an all-volunteer service. We've been operating free of charge since 1974. Unlike the city's 911 system, Bravo operates with a budget that relies primarily on the generosity of donations from you, our community. We are contacted directly by phone to our emergency number that most people know by heart, 718-680-1111. The COVID-19 pandemic has challenged the world in ways that we have not seen since the pandemic of 1918. It presented us with a situation that exceeded the capacity of our hospitals and intensive care units and launched the entire emergency medical service systems into chaos and backlog. At Bravo, the choice to remain in service during this pandemic was both difficult but yet easy. We were established to serve our community, continue to provide emergency care to anyone who called, understanding that we were placing ourselves in danger from this unknown virus. We experienced exhaustion, personal risk of infection, fear of the transmission to ourselves and our family. We were faced with illness and death of our friends and colleagues and a loss of more patients than we had ever encountered before. As the New York City EMS 911 system became overwhelmed with the number of calls throughout the entire city, they started turning to the volunteer ambulance services for help and began sending 911 calls directly to Bravo. We began asking our members to start volunteering for as many shifts as possible. Keep in mind that many of our members work full-time jobs, paid jobs, already working on an ambulance as a career. Bravo volunteers work long hours wearing the most uncomfortable and cumbersome personal protective equipment available, and we look pretty funny. Extended hours for no pay is the norm for a volunteer, but you already know that. But we remained Bravo strong. Without any specific rationale for the transmission or even treatment for COVID-19, we were mandated to transport patients by themselves, denying family members to accompany, to, accommodate, me, to accompany them. We were the patient advocates, and it was our pledge to do what we could for each and every one of them. We held their hands, we often cried with them through these uncertain times, but we remain Bravo strong. Finally, we hope that we've seen the last of the most severe COVID-19 cases. We know it will probably never go away completely, but with the overwhelming availability of a safe and effective vaccine, there is hope for the future. What this pandemic has done is shed light on the need for more robust emergency medical service system, both pre-hospital and in-hospital. With help, we can make it happen. With the help from organizations like Bay Ridge Cares, Councilman Brennan, and our other local politicians, as well as our community. We hope to promote and redefine the need for more community volunteers, essential support workers, and those willing to pick up the pieces when surrounded by disaster and a failure of the systems. At Bravo, as we approach our 50th anniversary, with your continued support, we look to continue to provide the best volunteer ambulance service with the best volunteers in the world because we're Bravo strong. Thank you.